Okay, well here we are, uh, 2011 Stone AHA Rally. Out uh, here in the gardens, of course, for this event. <laughs> just getting set up, just about to get started. Okay, here's the draft board. Balls and draft. Let's go through all these. That's what we're going to be trying today. And to the top. That's the schedule. Welcome to the 2011 AJ March Madness Rally. We're really excited to have you here. My name is Chris Cochran. I am the Community Affairs Director here at Stone Brewing. I'd like to point out Mr. Mike Palmer, Mitch Steele, which uh, doesn't need an introduction, and hopefully one of the 40 uh, people that submitted a beer today will be lucky enough to brew your beer with Mitch and our uh, amazing team here at Stone Brewing Company. This is our fourth rally here at Stone. It is our third competition. Uh, a couple people that I would like to point out, uh, look for a Hawaiian shirt and a tan head. Where is Ken Schmidt? He's, he's here, he's, he's walking around, yeah. Uh, Ken Schmidt was our first winner uh, here at Stone in our, in our uh, competition. Brewed an amazing beer, turned out to be named one of the top 25 beers in America that year. Uh, last year, where's Kelsey? Kelsey McNair, last year's winner, uh, brewed the, uh, the basically the, one of the most amazing session beers uh, I've had in a long time. And, uh, and he does have an entry in this year, so uh, beware. Uh, the last two people I'd like to introduce uh, are Catherine Porter Drapu and Gary Glass. Catherine is the membership coordinator for the AHA. She's one of the reasons all of you are here and all of you support the American Home Brew Association. And we really encourage you to be an active member in that organization. And now to talk more about it, I'd like to introduce Gary Glass, who is the director of the American Home Brew Association. Thank you, Chris. What a beautiful day we have here at the uh, Stone World Bistro and Gardens. Thank you all for coming out, supporting the American Home Brewers Association. I think we owe a big round of applause for everybody here at Stone for putting on this event. Four straight years of uh, of age and rallies. Always been huge supporters of the home brewing community. Uh, to do uh, you know this competition here, it's unique. We've, we don't have any other rallies where we have a, a home brew competition going on where the brewery actually makes the beer. And this year is particularly unique because we happen to have the uh, AHA National Homers Conference coming to San Diego in June, June 16th through the 18th. How many people are registered for the conference? Uh, and so it's a very unique opportunity. It doesn't cover. It, it moves around the country. We've never been in San Diego before. Uh, so no telling when we when we'll be back. Uh, I, I love San Diego. So hopefully soon, but. Uh, uh, it's, it's really a great opportunity to go out and meet. Uh, we'll probably have around 1,800 homebrewers coming to the conference this year, uh, our largest ever. So I'm very excited about that, and, and it's, this is such a great community. Uh, we, you see some of the folks here in the, in the back here that have the, have the yellow shirts on. These are part of the local, co uh, local committee. Uh, the National Homebrewers Conference is you know, we, it's put on by the AHA. But we can't do it without local volunteers. Uh, and so these guys have been working for, for well over a year now to put together the program for this conference. And we have just an awesome lineup of speakers. Uh, we've got Mitch is one of our speakers, as long as Greg Cook from Stone. Uh, and, and just a really awesome lineup of, of seminars for, for homebrewers that's gonna help you make better beer. Uh, and the biggest club night in history. So we've got homebrew clubs from all over the country that are kind of going to come and serve beer during the conference. Uh, we've got, I think, 54 clubs lined up, and that number is increasing. And then we have a Pro Brewers Night where we've got uh, close to 40 different breweries, and that number is growing. 
Uh, but it is selling out very quickly. The registration is going faster than, than I ever imagined. We already have more people registered for the conference this year than ever before. Um, now, there happens to be a unique tie-in to this particular rally with the, with the Homer's Conference uh, in that one of these 40 beers is going to be one of the commemorative beers that's going to be served at the Homer's Conference. So, one lucky homebrewer who wins this, this competition is going to have their beer served not only here, but at the Homebrewers Conference, and it will be one of those commemorative beers for the, for the 18 to 2,000 people attending this, uh, 1,800 to 2,000 people attending the National Homebrewers Conference. Uh, so, uh, you know, and, and as I said, if you haven't signed up, this is, it. This is, this is your opportunity. It's going to be here in, in Southern California. Make sure you register uh, before it, it sells out because it's it's going quickly. Um, and then, oh, and actually, for those of you who are co attending the conference and you want to you want to get further involved, uh, this gentleman here, Brendan, the yellow shirt, red hat, he's he's the volunteer coordinator. So he's organizing people to help help serve beer for seminars and and, and that kind of thing. Uh, if you're interested in getting involved, that's the guy to talk to. Oh, we've got to talk about, did you mention the ballots yet? Uh, I did not. I just wanted to let everybody know we're going to start pouring beers here in just a second. Uh, everybody should have a pamphlet, so to make things nice and uh, smooth, please order your beers by number. I do want to announce uh, one change. Number 10 is no longer a chocolate stout. Number 10 is an American wheat ale, Kevin's Wheat, 5.7%. So please make a note of that. On number 25, we have an addition to number 25 in the description. That beer is brewed with plantains. Uh, at this point, I would like to just uh, let everybody know, try to get your ballots in by 2.30, 2.35 at the very latest. At that point, we will go ahead and tally the, uh, the ballots, do a raffle, and announce the winners of today's competition. So I hope everybody has a wonderful time out here. I'm going to introduce Mitch Steele real quick. And uh, Ken Schmidt. There he is. See, I knew he'd be here. Uh, all right, Mitch, why don't you tell how, uh, everybody how we're going to do this? All right. Uh, welcome, everybody. Just want to give you a quick rundown on how the judging is going to work. Uh, you each, everybody here should have one ballot. The ballot box is uh, over in the corner, uh, just uh, right along the pathway there. Please get your ballots in. Pick your first, second, and third place beer. Get your ballots in by 2.30, and then what we will do is we'll take that ballot box and we'll tally everything up. The top four beers or so, what we'll do is we'll take those beers. We already have samples collected of every single beer here. We'll take those top four beers, and then a judging panel from Stone will pick the winning beer. And uh, from there, uh, we will set up a brew date. Now, you know, with Gary mentioning the, the uh, National Homebrew Conference happening in June, we're going to have to make this a quick turnaround. So... Uh, uh, the winner, we're looking at brewing within the next couple of weeks, uh, hopefully as soon as possible. So just be ready for that if you are the winning beer. Uh, the beer will be served at the, at the conference and will also be entered in the Pro-Am competition at this year's Great American Beer Festival. So it's a, it's a good time for whoever wins, and uh, I look forward to tasting the beers. And that's pretty much all I had. So. Excellent. Thank you again. Uh, once again, just have a wonderful time today. Vote by number, order by number, and uh, good luck to one lucky person out there. Thanks. All right, we just started trying my first beer here. It's number 32, India Pale Lager. It's actually 8.6%. Big lager. Starting out with that, I thought it'd be a good refreshing one. I didn't realize the alcohol was so much when I tried it. Okay, so far I've had the uh, Indian Pale Lager, the uh, Popped Up Half, the Hoppenstein American IPA. So, uh, so far pretty good. I'm enjoying them. 27, Smoked Chocolate Stout, that was alright. Now I'm on to 19, Cherry Chocolate Stout, that's in here. It was pretty good. Don't taste 8%. Okay, here's number 22. Scooper Stout. It's a sweet stout at 8%. So that's pretty big. Some big, like, stouts go in 8% range. Let's give this a try. Mm. 
Mm, that's pretty nice. Um, probably my favorite so far. Uh, really creamy beer. It's got all that all right, so I'm drinking 38 California Kolsch. Really nice Kolsch. Just had the uh, Cleveland Claymore We Heavy. That was pretty solid. Smoked chocolate We Heavy. That was pretty interesting. Uh, Whitless Bastard had a lot of banana for a Whit beer. What else have I had? I had the uh, 21. I don't even know how to pronounce that. That was, that was decent. The Smoked Amber 23. That was uh, big barbecue on there. I haven't had very many smoked beers, but that was pretty well done. That's about it for now. So this is a bunch of beers later. I am now trying the number 31 liquid bacon, bacon infused mild, and uh, holy crap, this tastes like liquid bacon. It's, it's pretty damn impressive. I didn't vote for it, but uh, I've never had a beer like that. It's, it's really damn interesting. That's what I have in the glass right now. Okay, so this is the uh, judging going on for the uh, competition here. Uh, everyone taking a look at these beers. So it should be interesting to see who uh, wins this competition. I had some favorites. I kind of agreed with Ken Schmidt with he, what he likes, so it'll be interesting. All right, so while we wait for them to judge, everyone's kind of lounging about. They're actually still pouring whatever beer's left that's been, that's, uh, been entered, so. There's quite a few that are out. I am drinking the, the Kolsch again. I really like this beer. This is a fantastic Kolsch. I don't know if it, I doubt it will uh, get into the top four, but you never know. And if you can see up there, look, look at the clouds there. That's, they are brewing up beer right here right now. It smells freaking awesome. I mean, it just smells like boiling wort right now out here in the gardens. Cook, the CEO, co-founder here at Stone Brown Company. Lovely to see you. You guys have done, outdone yourselves this year. Hey, turn the mic on. Turn the mic on. Hi. The mic is on. You just have to be quiet. I have four words for you right now. Spectacular. Five. Five words. I don't know. Uh, really, this is, this was fantastic. Uh, you have outdone yourselves this year. Uh, the yeah, let's hear a round of applause for everybody. You guys. Are so it is our great pleasure to announce the winners because you know you guys are sending a message that says we as home brewers. We will not be ignored. <laughs> we belong in this world of brewing just like everybody else, just like the craft brewers and hell, a lot more than the megalithic, monolithic big brewers, right? Right, yeah. Damn, yeah. damn right, damn right. So I, I could proselytize for hours and I'm not going to. I'm going to get Budweiser right to this. Sucks. I am going to. What's that? Budweiser sucks. I didn't hear that one more time. Budweiser <laughs> sucks. Oh, okay. Well, I, I can't repeat that, but... <laughs> all right, all right. So... Uh, I'm with you, brother. Uh, no, and I don't, we don't need to be brand specific. Let's just say fizzy yellow beer. That's right. Fizzy yellow beer. Fizzy yellow beer. Fizzy yellow beer. Okay. Except for green flesh. I, as, as Mitch... Announces momentarily the winners, the runners, we're going to do the runners up and the winners. Uh, I am going to send a tweet out with the information, so let's see who gets the information first, whether it be an at Stone Greg Twitter account or Mitch. But we'll, and, and without any further ado, this is our, our head roar, uh, Mitch Steele. Who we know him well. And again, fantastic job, guys. All right. Uh, I gotta say, I gotta, I gotta say thank you for the brewers who brought their beers today. We had 40 entries today. That's the most we've ever had. Give it so up. a round of applause for everybody. Okay.
Okay, uh, what we did is we picked the top five beers based on your votes, and then we tasted each of those five beers and we selected the, uh, the winners. And so I'm going to go from, uh, uh, work my way up to the first place winner. And first off, I'd like to give an honorable mention. Um, unfortunately, there's no prize associated with that except for just the honor of being the honorable mention. Before I do that, let me get a couple of people up here. Let me get Ken Schmidt and Kelsey McNair up here. And I think there's room for both of us. These are our first two winners. Ken Schmidt. Kelsey McNair, hey, you're going to be in good company, you who win, all right? <laughs> so, all right, with that, um, the, the honorable mention goes to Brad Sales with number 38, the California Kolsch. Oh, nice yeah. beer. Yeah. Wonderful beer. That's a really good beer. Okay. <laughs> The next beer is number 30, Chris Stani with the Chocolate Milk Stash Sweet Stout. And Chris, if you're here, come on up. We got a prize for you. Thanks, Chris. Awesome beer. And I gotta say, um, I will say this right now, Chris's beer was the number one vote getter among all of you. Great, great beer. Okay, give Chris a round of applause. Okay, our third place winner was beer number 15. The Blackout, Dark Strong Ale with Vanilla Beans. That was good. All right, no drum roll, but uh, the second place beer, beer number 37, Hot Foo, Kelsey oh. McNair. Oh, wow. Amazing idea. Amazing idea. <laughs> there you go. Get close, Kelsey. Get close to doing a repeat. Um, all right, without any further ado, the number one beer was beer number 19, Cherry Chocolate Stout, Jason Field. Congratulations, we're going to brew a beer together, and uh, we'll get that going right away. Nice beer. Cherry Chocolate Stout, awesome beer. Thanks to everybody. Oh, pictures. Can't even imagine right now. Yeah. Like pretty speechless. <laughs> You're going to have your beer and your name on bottles that are going to be collected, talked about, blogged about, all over the nation. I, 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 I've collected all the past ones. <laughs> it's unreal. <laughs> I, I can't yeah! I can Now, I noticed you making a phone call a moment ago. Was, got some fans out there, I can yes. tell, already. <laughs> You're making a phone call. Who'd you make a phone that call? That was my fiance. Awesome. Yes, she was very excited. So, uh, and what does she think of your home brewing inclination? Uh, well, outside of screaming on the phone that we won, uh, <laughs> yeah, she, she supports it. She Sounds like it. she's pretty supportive. Yeah, she loves great. our beer, so that's, that's good. I love our beer too. And you, how's the reaction to it? Good. Well, actually, my wife didn't answer her phone, so I don't know yet. <laughs> She likes she likes trying different stuff that we do. You know. Was that your mom also taking pictures? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you brought mom with you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Very I did. Cool. Yeah. Wow. Just, wow. <laughs> so you know, one of the as you know, the tradition is to do a three-way collaboration here at Stone. Mm -hmm. You guys count as one. You did it together as a team. So you got to start talking. So you got to start thinking about what brewery, what professional brewery would you like to collaborate with on this particular beer to bring them in, 
<laughs> don't know yet. Right okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't think we have any rule that says you have to decide this afternoon. Okay, okay. okay. that's good. <laughs> you know, in, in the past it's kind of been easy because thematically we did the Aloha planning with Ken Schmidt, right? And then we invited our friend Garrett from Maui Brewing Company because he'd also been doing a coconut porter. Yeah. And he knew how to scale up that kind of a recipe into, you know, the full size. And then when Kelsey McNair won, went, won with his San Diego Session Ale, uh, we looked locally to Ballast Point. He had been inspired by Ballast Point's even feel. And so we brought in Ballast Point. He thought that was a great idea. And, uh, you know, off the top of my head, it's a little less obvious. And we might choose for a cherry chocolate yeah. stout for the commercial side that maybe has done something in that different direction. So. Yeah, yeah, we're going to like your input on it too. Yeah. Well, yeah, if we think they're a bunch of assholes, we're not going to put that in the I think we're going to win either, so it's like, okay, well, let's talk about it. But yeah. you know what? It's pretty far and few between, uh, few and yeah. far between, so I think we're going to probably be fine. Good. All right. Looking forward to it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Basically, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a, the base beer is a beer that we've been brewing for a couple of years, and yeah. it's just a basic cherry or uh, chocolate. Uh, you want this chocolate? Stout but it's an eight percent stout, so that's a big that's a big stout. Yeah, you know, that's yeah. Yeah. that's getting up there. Yeah. And it actually came out a little bit lower than we were. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Our, our efficiency wasn't that great, but uh, we're making changes. Came so. out. Yeah. So it started as a uh, just a chocolate stout, and you had the cherries that was a in. Beer we've okay. done it for a couple of years, and uh, uh, for the competition, we just decided to throw in some some cherries some and cherries. Try yeah. something different. Throw it in a secondary to see what it does. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cut them up, pasteurized them, and, and okay. Threw them in the secondary and racked on top of it, and see what happens. See what happens. Let, and it, let it do its work. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and it comes out. Bring it here. Um, I think yours was a bottled, right? I think it was a bottled version. Bottled, yeah. yeah. Yep. So it was in the bottle. Yeah. And um, yeah, I thought, I mean, I, it's like, meanwhile, I'm sitting here, I, I think I drank 38 of the 40. <laughs> so <laughs> I have to admit, after a while. so yeah. I have to admit my palate shot, but I do remember liking that and liking the balance you had between the two. I think that's where, where that beer like really wow the judges. Yeah. I think it was the balance between the two. It was just balance with the beer. Yeah. Yep. I think that's a big it, thing with beer and um well, that was it, a goal. It, it, it shocked it shocked me that yeah. it came out it yeah. came out that good. So. <laughs> yeah there's there's Especially some good the first time messing with fruit and you know <laughs> really yeah that's I've that nice beer a ton of times but that particular style with, is really I've never done it with the fruit yeah. and that was the first time and you know, sometimes that's the way you do it, right? First just, competition, and you know, it's your first competition first too. That's competition that's good to know, because yeah. uh, like my goal is to enter this next year, yeah. and you know, I have a lot of work to do, a lot more learning to do, and oh, but it's me. just so, good to know that. So do we. We have a lot more learning to do. Too. <laughs> but it's good to know that you know that someone can win, that you guys who are you know still learning as well, and Absolutely. you're just trying new yeah. things, and you, you won out of 40 beers. You got picked to, yeah. to brew a beer. It's kind of surreal. Shocking. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> a lot of fun. Yeah. But it, it gives me, you know, inspiration to continue with my brewing and yeah. Um, yeah. and just continue on and just keep trying new things and definitely yeah. Just keep you on know, chugging. You saw it proof positive that you never know what what'll work. <laughs> yeah, I mean, any given day, right? It's yeah. like. Any yeah. given competition, you know, something's Let's gonna come up and strike the uh, palates of everyone. And yeah. 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 no, that was yeah. a lot of fun, guys. Cheers. Yeah, it was. Thanks. Cheers. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.